Hi everyone and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, let's continue where we left off, and before we go back to the bridge, we should reassign the Advanced Warfare Center engineer. Because we don't have any more wounded soldiers, that's a good thing. Everyone is available. So, we can start excavating the exposed power coil. Because we'll need it, and it will take a while. Might as well get started. And back to the bridge. So, if we go for heat signature right now, we'll be able to get both resistance contacts and reduced contact cost. But we have to go for heat signature first, because it will expire in 6 days. Avenger I guess we can do it? I'm a little bit worried that Avatar project will be a problem. But I guess we'll see, let's do heat signature first. Unless we get a different mission, that's a possibility. And we got dragon rounds. Yep, that's pretty nice. I'll take that. And I think we should get started on Skulljack. So let's maybe do that. 25 supplies. Yep, let's get started on that. And back to the bridge again. Let's do this. Will we have to do a mission? Yes. Okay then. Resistance contacts, plus one. Moderate difficulty, protect the device. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. So, let's take a look. Let's just remove everyone really quick. Seeing how make weapons available seems to work now. Let's see. 29 days of notoriety on Elam. Yeah, he's definitely not coming to this one. We can grab Zack. Let's grab anyone without notoriety. So, Zack, Vincent, Roy. Who else? 35 days on Quincy. Holy crap. 13 days on Patrick. We can probably afford to bring Patrick. Sean. Zoe. That's all the people without notoriety. And they could use the experience. Okay, hold on. We don't really need a specialist for this. It's nice to have one, but it's not crucial for this type of mission. I could bring Bill. We are going to need gunners. If only for the Shredder ability. So I'm leaning towards bringing Bill to this one. And also Marcos needs experience. They are both squaddies. And I'd like to level them up. Alright, Bill, he's closer to his promotion right now. And let's make everything available. This is a bit of a weird squad, but it should work quite well. Let's see, we got two assaults, we got three assaults. Okay, hold on, I don't think we need three assaults. That's a little bit too much. Then again, why the heck not? We got the proper weapons for them. We can give them all short guns. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Why the heck not? Anyway, Bill. Let's see. We do have a cannon for him. He has five health. Okay. Priest. Increases aim and critical hit chance when injured. Decreases chance of being critically hit. Increases armor by one. Alright, well, let's just give it to Bill. And Shadowkeeper. You can keep the grenade. Next up, we got Roy. Let's have a look. I can't give gear to every single assault because we don't have enough gear for that. So, yeah. Some of them just won't get anything. Here, Roy. You are the lucky one. And the axe. We do have dragon rounds. And I think it makes sense to give it to Roy. We could also give them to Bill. What's the exact effect here? Oh yeah, chance to set targets on fire. That's best with walk fire. But we obviously don't have that on Bill. Because he's just a squaddy. Alright. So, next. Who's next? Actually, hold on. We should give dragon rounds to Zack because he's a ranger. That makes more sense, he can fire twice per turn. We can give Bill the medkit, someone should bring the medkit. 
you know, just in case we'll actually need it. Zack will get the dragon rounds and the magnetic rifle with stock. Yep, that works. I like that. And the armor. Alright, looks good. Next, we got Vincent. Let's have a look. You need an SMG because you're a rogue. So, stutter mag. And the rest looks fine, I guess. Someone needs to bring the frost bomb. I suppose it can be Vincent. We don't have an actual grenadier in this squad. Yeah, this is a bit of a weird squad, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work just fine. Nothing special for you. Alright, and finally we got Zoe. I don't have anything for her either. I still got this personal combat seams. But I'm a little bit undecided who to use them on. I think I'll use emergency life support on Patrick. But he's not in this mission, so yeah. Let's go then, or do we need anything else? No, we do not. I could bring the throwing knife, I suppose? I think I'd rather keep grenades, since we don't have a spec ops in here. Let's just go. Operation Purple Priest, alright. Recon suggests the aliens are already moving to destroy the device. That data is too valuable to lose, so we're moving in to secure the area. Eliminate all hostile contacts and protect that gear. Alright, here we are. And here's the objective, and I saw an alien right next to it, which is to be expected, I suppose. Alright, let's move in that case. Let's have a look. Vincent should be the one to scout ahead. We could use some high ground. There's a good chance there will be at least one group in range of the high ground. Let's send Vincent to the high ground. See if we find anything. Oh, there's a turret, alright. Well then. It did not see us, that's good. That was a little bit too close, I did not expect a turret up there. Can we get out? Yes, we can. Okay, good. We should probably get rid of that turret. It is skippable. But I don't know. Let's just move first. Because we can't really attack anything on this turn one way or the other. I mean, I could technically attack the turret, but that's kind of a terrible idea. Let's not do that. Okay, a Viper, a Sectoid. I see Advanced Trooper in the back. Okay then. I think we'll have to attack the turret, but I don't know. I could always throw a grenade, destroy the roof, and that should get rid of the turret. But that still requires a grenade. And I don't have that many grenades. Let's open this door real quick. Alright, I can't see a whole lot right now. But that's okay. I know there's a group over there. What if we position on the other high ground? Maybe not with Vincent, but with someone else. What about Bill? Yeah, he can position on the high ground. Can anyone go up there and still use Overwatch? No, not really. Alright, Bill. And who's the ranger again? That's Zack. Okay, Bill and Zack. And let's move. Just try to be careful. And Roy. He can go left. Alright, looks good. It would be nice if that group moved towards us. A lot of health on the device, so there's no huge rush. Alright, where the heck did that group go? It's definitely there, we know as much. But I can't see it anymore? Alright. Let's take a look around with Vincent. Just try to be careful. Where is it? That's the other group. The one that's attacking the device. 
but there should be a group in this area. It was their area. Alright, we'll just move into cover like so. And let's keep moving. Everyone is still concealed. We should move out of range of the turret. We could also use the high ground all the way up here. It's not the worst idea ever. I'm actually considering it. We could attack that group down there from the high ground. I think that's a pretty good plan. Let's just go up there with everyone. Yep, I think we should just go with everyone. I see no reason not to. Alright, people, let's go. Move, move, move. We got work to do. We can keep one or two people on the long ground. Probably Vincent because he's a little bit far away. Oh, here comes the group. Two sectoids and a viper. That's not too bad. We could probably ignore that group and go for the group that's attacking the device. Or we could attack it from the high ground. Yeah, I suppose we can do that. Could we kill them all? Maybe. The problem with attacking them from here is that they can easily enter the high ground themselves. While this other group cannot, it's too far away. But these guys certainly can, and then they would flank me. Unless I positioned like this. But if I position like this, then that gives me a very limited number of spots I can safely attack them from. So I'm still leaning towards attacking the other group, you know. I do think that's a better idea in our current situation. Yeah, that's definitely a better idea. Let's do that. Yes, we know Bradford. Calm down, we're not ready yet. Off you go. This should be pretty good. But let's wait one more turn. So overwatch on everyone. Oh, they are coming. See, I told you. They actually entered high ground themselves. Now we kind of have to kill them. But it will be easier now. I could freeze them all and then kill them. It's a possibility. How do we want to do this then? If we attack them, we should probably move out of range of that other group. I'm leaning towards using a frost bomb because that's the safest move we got. Yeah, I think we should just use the frost bomb against them. We can't freeze them all, really. Yes, really. Okay, now that's disappointing. I might still do it? Can we really not freeze them all? Come on. Yes, we can, so let's do that. It was right there. Before we do it, let's move with everyone else. Because, you know, I don't want to trigger the other group. That's basically our plan. Come on, people, let's move. Just make sure we aren't in line of sight. We shouldn't be. Not to mention we'll be too far away. Okay, looks like we're in safe positions. So now we can throw the grenade. I know we can hit all three. Oh, Zack has walk fire, right. So he's the best person for dragon rounds. Anyway, frost bomb. I know we can hit all three. It was there for a moment. There. Come on now. I know we can do it. Maybe a different angle. No. Damn it. I have a feeling this will take a while. But they were all highlighted for a moment. I know it's doable. So annoying. Come on. I'm not giving up on this. I know it's doable. Great. I have a feeling this will take a while. But I need this grenade. And they were highlighted for a moment. All three of them. Come on. How the heck do we do this? 
Seriously? No idea. I'm not giving up on this. There's no way. Which corner was I targeting? I have no clue. I have no idea how I did that earlier. But I did it. I saw all three highlighted. So come on game, please cooperate with me here. Let's try a different camera angle. Maybe it will be a little bit easier. Probably not. Great. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I knew it. There. See, that was worth it. And now we can kill them while they are frozen. Oh yeah, we'll probably have to do something about the turret. Is Vincent actually in range of the turret? No. No, the turret is out of range. But someone else is in range. We could just move out of the range of the turret, I guess. First, let's kill the Sectoids and the Viper. So like that, that's 9 damage and now the Sectoid will be on fire, yes. So we can basically ignore that one, he's dead, more or less. 10 critical hit, good job. And now kill the Viper. And move out of range of the turret. Preferably. So Zoe. 21%. It's unlikely that turret will actually hit us. Because we are on the high ground. See, the problem is that if I move, I won't be able to take a shot. Which is a bit disappointing. It only has 50 aim. And it won't do that much damage. And no one is wounded. On the other hand, we can safely kill the Viper on the next turn, because it's currently frozen. Alright, fine, let's play it safe and just move out of range of the turret. If we stand over here, we'll be out of range. Alright, done. The Sectoid will die, and we'll kill the Viper on our next turn. It can't move. The device is fine, it still has 27 health. Alright, who wants a kill? First, let's take a shot with Zack, because he can take a shot and then still move. And that's a kill for Zack, good job. Alright, and now, I think we should wait one turn, and then go for the other guys. Can we conceal? Vincent should be able to do it. Yes, we can conceal. So we'll do exactly that and move in to take a look. Okay, here they are. We might be able to hit them with a grenade without going into their line of sight. Yeah, I think we can do it. We just need to move a bit closer. We should be able to do it like so. It's a little bit risky, but they won't see us up here if I move like this. So it should be fine. No, it's not fine. All right, well, I guess we'll just attack them on the next turn. Sure, we'll do that. Not right now. Let's just move a little bit closer with everyone. And Roy. Alright, looks good, Overwatch. In case they find us. But they probably won't. Here. It's a shame Vincent doesn't have a grenade. He already used his. Alright. So I could just take a shot with Vincent. And he will have 100% chance to hit. And 40% chance to crit on the Viper. That might be the best way to open it, honestly. That's basically 40% chance to kill the Viper. Well, maybe not, because the crit isn't granted to do 10 damage. I think that's the best opener. 
just to take a shot with Vincent. Sure, let's do that. Alright, Vincent, don't disappoint me. You hear me? That's pretty good. 10 critical damage. Good job. And now we can take care of the other guys. They have a grenadier. So we should probably kill the grenadier. We can just throw a grenade. And that's the best way to deal with them. Who's furthest in the back? That would be Roy. Not that it really matters all that much. But let's throw a grenade. And yes, I realize this loot down there. We can pick up the loot on the next turn. Now, can we hit both the Grenadier and the Trooper up here? Good question, can we? It's going to be hard to see from this camera angle. Yes, we can. This will not destroy the loot. Let's do it then. This should destroy the roof and the Trooper will take falling damage. Or maybe not. Yes, he did take falling damage. No, he didn't. He's still up there. All right. We didn't actually hit him to begin with. That's fine, though. We destroyed cover for the Grenadier. And the Trooper is also flanked. Which means we can pretty much kill them both without any major problems. Let's start from the Grenadier. Bill can take a shot. That's... Well, potentially a kill. But he needs to do 6 damage. That's not a kill. Maybe next time. Alright, let's make sure we'll kill them both. That's kind of important, you know? I could use melee, but I don't really want to. We are better off staying up here. Alright, Sean, that's your job this time. 55% chance to get a crit. Nice. That's a kill. This is a pretty good squad, considering we got magnetic shotguns or shotguns, whatever. And that's going to be a kill, hopefully. What? We missed. I jinxed it. Not even close. We do have one more person. And he cannot possibly miss because he has stock. So this is a granted kill. Not to mention 100% chance to hit. But that was a 6% miss. With Zoe. That was not great. We still managed it. Oh, here comes the other group. Alright. Hi there. The lot might have to wait, but that's not a very dangerous group. Advanced sniper, advanced soldier, and a drone. Now we could use some melee. It should be fine. But I think there's going to be one more group, and I have no idea where exactly it is. It might be better to throw a grenade. We will destroy that guy's cover. And then someone else can take a shot. That seems reasonable. We can take two shots with Zack. 91% chance to hit the drone. Let's take that shot. And that's free damage. Good, good. Now we can use our free reload. And before we take another shot... Let's see. Yeah, I would use melee if I knew it's safe. But it's not very safe. It's still really tempting. The zone wall is pretty close. I think it's unlikely there's a group right here hugging the zone wall. Screw it. Let's do it. I like to live dangerously. Hopefully Zoe won't miss twice in a row. Here. Nice. Good job. That's a kill. And now we can easily kill the other two. Oh, there was a group over there. Damn it. I guess I was wrong about it being unlikely. Well, that's certainly a problem. Well then. Yeah, I don't like that too much. I didn't think that's going to happen, I'll be honest. But that's why melee is always dangerous. Let's throw a grenade. We have to kill the sniper at least. It's a shame we don't have a specialist, so I cannot stun the mech. Let's throw that axe. Here. Enjoy. And that's a kill. Now, can we do any damage at all to these guys? Yeah, kind of. Alright, let's go and try that. I can use a running gun, so that is a possibility. I will have to ignore the drone. Let's use a running gun. 
I can move into cover, kind of. Not that it really matters when Zoe is flanked. We might as well move as close as we possibly can. And take a shot. There, he's dead. And now, I don't think we'll be able to kill the mech. That's not going to happen. We can, however, kill the drone. So, let's do that. Let's just grab the lot. And we can use Shadow Keeper to kill the drone. We have to grab the lot one way or the other. And using Shadow Keeper on the drone will also give Bill a kill. So, go for it. There, and now he will also be concealed. That is useful. And that leaves us with Vincent. Can Vincent take a shot at the mech? No, he's not close enough, but we could Overwatch. I guess we'll just do that. That's our best option right now. But even if we hit both of these shots, it will not be a kill. However, there's a good chance the mech won't actually kill anyone. Oh, we only needed two more damage. And we got close command specialist. What? How the heck did you miss that? Come on now. Well, this has been a roller coaster, certainly. I was convinced we'll get a kill when I saw Clones Command Specialist. Okay, well, never mind. What's exactly happening right now? Slow motion, oh. What the heck was that supposed to be? Did it use grenades? Yes. It's just some kind of weird slow motion. What the heck is going on? What? Where did it go? Something is clearly wrong with this. What? Okay, I have no idea what just happened. Where the heck is the mech? On the other side of the map? What? Anyway, who had the medkit? Because we should probably consider using it. That would be Bill. Alright then, let's just use the medkit. On Zoe or whatever. And we'll overwatch. Use the medkit. Back to full health with you. And Overwatch. I have no idea what happened with that mech. It was some kind of really weird glitch. There's no cover over there, let's not do that. Go down. Wait. Oh, there's the mech, yeah, on the other side. Take a shot. What the heck are you doing? What were you aiming at? This is really weird, this is clearly some kind of strange glitch. Yeah, he's aiming in the other direction. I think the mech is still there, but the game is showing it elsewhere. What? Did you see that? Okay, that was the weirdest glitch I've seen in a while. <laughs> I hope that's not going to happen very often. But alright, we got a promotion. This could have ended poorly after that activation. But hey, everyone survived. That's the important part, right? Moved furthest, Vincent. No, the mech moved furthest. <laughs> the mech should get that reward. So, promotion. We got two wounded people, but that's fine. What do we want here? Taunt the next attacker, deflecting, stunning, and leaving the attacker exposed. If the shot lands. Very small chance to not stun enemies with high will. Okay. Then we got flash, plus 30 aim, minus 50% base weapon damage, cost to ammo, and causes enemies to move. I do like flash. And concussive shot. Two round cooldown, costs no ammo, three charges per mission. What? Bigger brains are harder to rattle. Sub costs double charges. Oh, it has a chance to stun. Right. I think this is basically between flash and concussive shot. I think flash is going to be better. It's a tough call. But plus 30 aim will be enough to push our chance to hit to 100% a lot of the time and get finishing shots. Let's grab flash. Why not? 
Alright, and that's our only promotion right now. We got Alarium Core and Advent Logbox. And the plus one resistance contacts. So now we can get five. And now we should go for reduce contact cost. Avengers and then we can make course. contact with the next region. And then we can raid the facility. That's basically the plan for the next week or two. Coming through, Commander. Oh yeah, supply drop. Minor breakthrough, armor, piercing rounds so and the hidden order. event. I think I'll pass on revealing the hidden event because we kind of need the intel. Alright, I'll pass on that. Supply drop will have to wait, I think, although... Oh yeah, we also finished resistance comms. That's nice. What should we go for next? Wait, hold on. Do we have an engineer in resistance comms assigned automatically? No, we don't. Oh yeah, we are working on clearing alien machinery. We do have one unstaffed engineer. There we go. You can help with that. And back to the bridge. Yep. So. Oh, we don't have to do a mission for that one. Nice. No, we do have to do a mission. Moderate. Well, we'll be doing that one in the next episode. So thanks for watching this one. And I'll see you next time.